Hey, Air Science, welcome to my channel. This is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I'm going to tip you on down here. Um, this won't resonate with everybody, so if it doesn't fit, go ahead and check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. Take what um, applies to your life and leave what don't. So Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our Air Signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, so... Um, some of you are experiencing extreme emotional exhaustion. Um, you are drained of all your energy. The rough waters ahead or the rough waters around you have just been too much. For some of you, even though um, you're emotionally drained, you are not leaving a current situation. Um, for some of you, it's because where you're at, you're stable. You're, um, you're not happy. You're bored. You're discontent. But you know where you're at. You're going to be safe. Be um, financially stable. Um, but you're not seeing something from the universe. The universe is trying to show you something, trying to give you something. And you're not seeing it because you're too concentrated on what you don't have versus what you do have. You're feeling very, um, just very exhausted. You, you don't see any success, any future in this relationship. Um, you don't see it going forward anywhere. Yeah, but you're not honestly, you're not being honest with your partner, your person that you are connecting with. Um, you're not offering any truth to them, any answers right now. For some of you, it could be because you don't have the answers at the moment. You don't know why you're feeling so um, bored, so emotionally drained. Um, the person that you are dealing with is a soulmate of yours or somebody that you've known from your childhood. Could be somebody that you have children with. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's too many, but for some of you, um, the person you're dealing with, they're considering setting out on their own. They are um, like, okay, fine. You don't, you don't appreciate what you have. Then I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move forward single alone by myself, setting out carefree and leaving this drama behind because there's no longer any shared, um, emotional success here. There's no longer any more of that. Yeah. Of that emotional um, abundance that you guys want shared. You're feeling unsuccessful. They're feeling like all their cups are empty and they are moving forward. They are going to move on. Um, yeah. They could be making plans to, to move forward on this new journey. What is their outcome? The both of you are at a um, crossroads in your life. The both of you. Um, oh, wow. Uh, the both of you have a choice to make. Um, okay. Your bottom of the deck is the eight of cups in reverse. So um, you're both being being called to move forward to to set out on your spiritual journey because there's no more success here there's no more um ten of cups energy you're bored they're wanting to move forward you're not moving forward with any truth or offering any answers to their questions so they're going to move forward your shared energy is in the past you guys both had uh to make a choice um in the past you guys did choose each other however with the uh wheel of fortune here um, you do have good fortune coming your way. It's in the upright. Um, you do have success coming, but it's but you need to move out of this uh, spot you're stuck in just because you're comfortable there. Um, Spirit is encouraging you to take that leap of faith, to um, to go against the grain, and you have good things coming towards you. And what you have in the future and your overall energy is the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So you will have emotional um, abundance again um, after you move out of this energy. 
You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Swords coming as your outcome cards. Truth, new beginnings, no longer being in a fog of confusion, no longer um, wondering if this person is deceiving you, no, wonder, no longer wondering what else is out there, um, and a new beginning with emotional success. Emotional, this is just amazingly beautiful. Once you get out of this, this uh, energy of concentrating on what you don't have, if you don't have it, go get it. That's all you have to do. Um, the only one that is stopping you from getting what you want, from being successful, is yourself, is what Spirit is saying. Um, you can't look to somebody else for your happiness, obviously, because it didn't work. Your Ten of Cups is here in reverse, and now they're moving forward. Um, so, yeah, the bottom of your angel deck is unrequited love. There's just not enough love to keep this going. Look at that. Finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So that's why you may not be moving forward because you're stable. As I was saying, you know that you're going to be okay financially, um, even though you're not happy there. So definitely finances could be an issue. And yeah, yeah, the chemistry, however, is no longer there. There's no longer any, um, there's no longer any passion. There's no longer, you guys are just going through the motions. You guys are, um, you're there every day in the same house, but it's like you're growing apart by leaps and bounds. Um, you both, your life goals have changed and they're no longer the same. Um, spirit is encouraging you to trust your instincts, to follow your heart. And when you do, you will have the promise of emotional um, abundance, a new beginning based on truth and clarity and honesty. And not only that, but you have the karmic wheel turning in your favor. Um, to me, the wheel of fortune is the ebb and flow of life, the ups and downs. Um, you have been in a downswing, obviously. Um, and it's now time for that upswing. And in that upswing, you guys are going to be brought into a new relationship, just new beginnings. Um, emotional abundance that is brought to you in the most beautiful way, but you have to allow this energy to move out of your life. You have to let this person go in order for that new beginning to bring all this in. So finances will always work itself out. Um, just follow your heart, trust your instincts because your intuition is on point. If it, if it's emotionally draining, um, and you see no success in it, then it's time to move forward and allow that energy to clear and allow your blessings to come in. So air signs, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it didn't resonate, make sure you uh, check out your moon rising and Venus. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.